holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Oh, listen, if you're looking for the Lord, you will find him. <laughs> Be Holy. All right. We want to welcome everybody back to Be Holy, 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 Holy. Listen. Uh, man, it's a great day. I hope you guys can't hear that. Somebody's out there cutting grass right by the window where we're recording. But listen, today's a great day, regardless of the grass cutting or not. Listen, we feel good. Do you feel good? That's the point. Do you feel good? If you feel good, let somebody know that you feel good. Hey, send me a text message or send me a uh, an email. Let me know that you feel good. <laughs> Just, hey. Today is a great day. It's going to be a great week. Don't worry about it. No matter what you're worrying about, it's not going to help you. You worrying will not help the situation. You worrying will not help your situation. All you can do is ask God to give you clarity about the situation so that you know how to pray or you know what to do. That's all you can do. Don't sit there and worry about it. And, and I'm telling you, you can be in some very, very hectic and very stressful situations. But no matter what, don't worry about it because God will give you the guidance that you need or maybe he's already given it to you and you just didn't notice it ask him ask him for the clarity God what am I supposed to be doing like right now this is really pulling me down Lord and I need some help and I can't go to a therapist I can't call mom I can't talk to dad I can't call the pastor so I should have been coming to you anyway so give me the answers Lord show me what to do show me where to go who to talk to or what I have to do show me you know, he's waiting for things like that. He wants to tell you things like that. He wants to talk to you, me, and everybody else. But we have to stop what we're doing and take our time to talk to him. And I know when you're in stressful situations, you know, you don't want to take your time. You want to get this thing taken care of. You want to get it over with. But a lot of times, these things come uh, to make us stronger. They just do. You know, like if you don't have resistance in your life, you'll be a weak person. So, uh Take the resistance and call yourself being stronger or something. I don't know. You know, uh, God, he's always here. He's always, listen, in the Pentecostal church, they sing a song that says, uh, uh, what do you know about Jesus or something like that? That's what it says. And so basically it's a call and response. So the, the leader gets up and they say, what do you know about Jesus? And the people say, he's all right. And what do you know about Jesus? He's all right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to ask you today, what do you actually know about Jesus? You know, what do you know about him? And don't say he's all right because he's more than that. Way more than that. Way more than that. So what do you know about Jesus? Well, one, he won't lie to me. Uh-huh. What else do you know about Jesus? Well, he's God. Okay, what else do you know about Jesus? He made the world. Okay, what else do you know? about? I mean, just start asking yourself, what do you know about Jesus in your own life? I know he's my protection when I'm not thinking about protection. When I wasn't even thinking about uh, doing God's will, he was still looking out for me long before I got quote unquote saved. And long before I said, I'm going to walk towards the Lord. He was thinking about me and had me in mind. You know, he died before he, you know, he died before all of us were born. You get what I'm saying? So he had already made plans for the sin that was going to try to to overtake us and whatnot. And he just went ahead and took the sins away. You know, like I always tell you, God doesn't have a problem with sin. The problem is us. He can remove sin, right? But if he, he removes us, we're gone forever. You know, he can remove sin. You know, we just want to 
chance to get it right with him. You know, if we can get it right with him, we are okay. Okay. All right. Listen, we're going to go over to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I saw this today. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29. This is one few times that I did read this before I got on here to talk to you. But, you know, it's, it's a fine. I don't even know if we're going to make it past the first verse. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 29. And we'll do verse 13. Jeremiah 29, verse 13. Now, this is a very big thing. You know, I was asking you about what do you know about God and what do you know about Jesus and what I, and you said, uh, he's all right and uh, he, he's, uh, uh, he's my protection and, you know, whatever you said. Verse number 13. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. You know, and I say that because a lot of people say, oh, we could never know uh, certain things about God. We don't need to know certain things about God. All we need to do is find him. If we're starting to look for him, we'll find him. If we wholeheartedly look for him honestly, we will find him. That's what he said. And, you know, this is not when we read the Bible, we're not reading the Bible as if, you know, this is what the Bible says and it's in charge of everybody. No, no. We, we read this as God made it available to us. These are his thoughts. He says, if you look for me wholeheartedly, honestly, with your whole heart, you will find me. Remember how I told people, well, I, I always talk about it. Um, people always have these uh, zeals to go and try to do all of the law, you know, make them feel better, you know, and that's fine. If you want to do that, you can do that. You're free to do that. I'm not going to do that because I know there was a lot a lot of other people who tried to do it and couldn't do it. So I don't waste time spinning my wheels trying to obey everything like that. If God shows it to me, then I'll obey it. And he'll show me how to obey it. But a lot of people go around and walk around, you know, trying to obey every last thing. Moses said this and and uh, there are other 613 uh, laws in the Bible. And, and I'm sitting there going, man, there's a lot more laws than that. That's not even written in the Bible. And so, um, they say, oh, yeah, you'll never know this. You'll never know that. And and yeah, you won't. But you don't need to know that. All you need to do is follow God wholeheartedly. And he said, if you want to obey all those laws, right? If you want to obey those laws, just do these two things. Love God with your whole heart and treat people right. You'll do every law that was written. Just love God with your whole heart and treat people, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your aunts, uh, your co-workers, your members of your church, the members of your choir, um, your children, you know, your children's friends, your children's friends, parents treat people right. That's all you have to do. Love God with your whole heart and treat people right. And you'll be just fine. That's what God says. That's what God says. So if you want to do all the laws that are in the Bible, <laughs> if you want to do all of that, just love God with your whole heart and treat people right. Don't lie to them. You know, so, I mean, a lot of times people just lie and they're not and their life don't even depend on it. You know, I understand when your life depends on it, but it's still wrong. You know, I understand why people lie, but it's still wrong, you know. But in that case, love God with your whole heart and treat people right. Stay away from things that's going to mistreat people. You know, a lot of times we will, you know, uh, like I said, a simple thing like lying. You know, um, oh, they're not home and you're they're sitting right next to you or, uh, you know, they're knocking at your door and you're acting like you're not home. I mean, those are those are little white lies, as they call them. But still, it's a lie. You know, you're home. Answer the door. <laughs> don't, don't sit there and try to <sighs> mistreat people, you know, uh, love God with your whole heart and treat people right. Now, this is what he said. If you look for me wholeheartedly, your whole heart, not. 10% of your heart, your whole heart. If you look for God with your whole heart, being honest, not, not that you're doing everything right. That's not the point that the point is not that you've got everything in under control. You got everything in the line. You want to present it to God. Cause even that is d filthy rags. That's not, that's not good enough for God. God. Only God can make you right. But if you search for him wholeheartedly, honestly, cause you want to do what's right, even though you don't know what doing what's right is, or you don't know all of the Bible, quote unquote, you don't know all that God wants you to do, quote unquote. But if you seek him wholeheartedly and honestly, honestly, 
you will find him. That's what he said. You will find him. You know, it kind of kind of let you know about the disciples, too. You know, they've been hearing about this Messiah coming. Messiah is going to be here. The Messiah is going to come. And they're at work. They're fishing. They're their Lord. Whatever they're doing, they're working. Right. And then all of a sudden they run across Jesus. Hmm. And he makes them disciples. He, he calls them, you know, the apostles and things like that. Well, they honestly and wholeheartedly search for him. You know, it's it's a thing. It's the same thing with us. We we tend to search for God in our own way as opposed to searching for God in his way. It's not good. It's not good. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Verse number 14. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. Now, he's talking to the Jews, right? Of that time, the Jews, right? But there's no, neither neither Jew or Gentiles anymore. You know, we're all the same. And so um, a lot of times they were sent to different lands because of sin and disobedience. And so uh, God says he's going to pull them back. He says this. Verse, verse 14, I will, I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. You know, this, they would end up in slavery and all these other places and, and captivity because of their disbelief or unbelief. And so sometimes that's how we end up because of our unbelief. God lets us go these places and we are sent these different places. But he says, when we're looking for him wholeheartedly, he will be found by you. You will find him. And when you find him, what is he supposed to do? He's going to end your captivity. He's going to restore all your fortunes. That's what that repentance and all that in that book of Acts talking about coming back to God. And and listen, you can't get right unless God make you right. So don't try to present yourself to him. You know, do yourself what do do what you're supposed to do as a person. Love him with your whole heart and seek for him. Treat people right. And from that point. You will find him and he will end your captivity and restore your fortunes and gather you out of the nations where I've sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. God's going to bring us all to our own land. And that's with him. Listen, wherever he is, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be no place else but with him. (laughs) You get what I'm telling you? So listen, get yourself together and search for him with your whole heart and be honest. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. And for your convenience, you can now text the word GIVE to 614-363-6133. Again, text the word GIVE to... 614-363-6133 614-363-6133 and we thank you for your support of Be Holy Broadcast. Be Holy!